Guys, we are outside with the 2011 Mitsubishi Evolution MR Touring, also known as the Evo. We're gonna do a quick walk around real quick. First things first, the engine in this car, which is what everyone wants to know about. It is a four cylinder. It is 291 horsepower, 300 pound feet to all four wheels. It's a twin scroll turbo, and actually in BMW terms, that'd be a twin turbo. And uh, huge intake. We've got the intercooler down the bottom there. Xenon headlights. BBS wheels as part of the MR package. Some nice sculpting here. Also got some sculpting and vents on the hood for extraction of the heat and then to let cold air in. Fender vents. These are real. These are painted on the MR. On the regular non-MR, they have uh, black in there, but it's heat extraction from the brake ducts. And then we also down here have a nice body kit. Back here, we don't have the stupid huge wing that's on the regular Evo. Because it's the MR, it's got the little lift spoiler. A lot less flashy, a um, lot less attraction um, to cops and everyone else that's trying to get attention. Nice rear diffuser down here with dual exhaust that does a lot of booming when you're on the highway. Very small trunk, six and a half cubic feet. You can't fit almost anything in it. The reason is we've got the sub, and then over there we have windshield washer fluid, and then over there is our battery. So not a big trunk at all for this car. Rear seats don't fold down because of all that stuff. BBS wheels, as I mentioned. Side repeaters, fog lights, HIDs. Let's get inside because it's real cold. So inside, we have these nice Recaro seats. Very nice. They are leather. They are not uh, automatic. They are manually adjustable. But they do feel very nice. They're perforated here on the center. Recaro, little fake carbon fiber right here. Don't have the uh, hard drive based navigation unit that you can put music on. Just the regular Rockford Fosgate sound system here. It sounds okay. The lows are muddy and loud and boomy. And the highs uh, from the tweeters get really muffled. Can't get any music for you. Here we go. It's okay. Something interesting the iPod connection is all the way up in here. You can't even get to it. You, you can't. You got to feel for it, and then you run your cord out. Very interesting. My iPhone 4 kept trying to connect and failing. It could not actually connect. So very interesting from there. This is the MR Touring. So the MR gives you the T C S S T transmission. That's their Mitsubishi's dual clutch transmission. It has basically three gear, three manual transmissions, or two manual transmissions three speeds smashed together so odds and evens one on each side then we have reverse on one of them so we can put it in regular drive we can also put it in manual up here we have aluminum paddles that we can change the gears in we also have three driving modes right here with this little switch goes to normal sport and then when you're either in park or sitting still you can push it up for a secret mode for about a second and a half and it puts it into super sport now you cannot do that while you're driving, and that basically keeps the revs pretty much above 5,000 RPMs once it gets above that the entire time. Sport just keeps it above one, uh, the RPMs higher, takes it all the way to red line, and then also will um, drop it down one gear than normal. All-wheel drive system right here, we have button, three modes, we have it in uh, tarmac, gravel, snow, and that just adjusts the yaw control and everything like that. Very sophisticated all-wheel drive. As you can see, I have the super all-wheel drive um, screen right here and then this will show me where the power is being distributed wheel to wheel front to back as I go around corners very cool um, obviously that's also our information screen crappy gas mileage in this car rated 17 22 I got no better than 14 to 18 depending on their driving conditions only a 14 and a half gallon tank so very small tank uh, it's a short it's geared very short, so even when I'm doing 60 to 70 miles an hour, we're, we're at three to 4,000 RPMs, so really burning through that fuel. Bluetooth is in this vehicle, and then we also have you know, radio controls, cruise controls. Again, I really like these paddles. They're done correctly. They're on the actual column, not on the steering wheel, so they do not move. I know where they are at all times. Really like that. Overall, $41,000 sticker price on this vehicle. Really expensive. It's a really fun toy. Not sure it's very practical because of the gas mileage and the um, small trunk, but if you're looking for a little pocket rocket, this is a definitely fun ride.